Men who are out here only trying to have sex with women and have no emotional connection, they're weirdos. A lot of this red pill, how to get girls stuff, a lot of them are like that as well. There's one super chat I want to answer, and I think you're going to agree with my answer. It is, which red pill guy do you think is the biggest dork, etc., etc.? A lot of the guys who are out there screaming at the fact that good women don't exist, as I said, they don't exist for them. Me and Andrew are now far more relevant than they could ever dream of being. I'm not going to say any of their names, because that's exactly what they want. Wow. Shots fired. Douche nozzle. Guys, I can't say that I'm surprised regarding this news, but just in, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate have publicly denounced. They have publicly rejected RP. It looks like everybody's starting to implode on this RP and this red pill stuff. This whole red pill thing, I don't know. It looks like it's getting exposed now. I don't know, you know a little bit about the red pill. What do you think about it? I mean, it seems like it's a bunch I just of- I know a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it was just the train that everybody just jumped on not knowing, and now people are starting to take the time to actually look into it. Okay, this was such a generic <laughs> answer. So it looks like the red pill is a bunch of crybaby men. It's basically the way I see it. I guess the taste of went on, went on record, quote unquote, saying that they don't agree with a lot of the red pill stuff, but they haven't mentioned names, but you can kind of catch, you know, who they're talking about when they're talking. All this shit on the internet, um, you know, you see a lot of these podcasts where you, all you see is these really, really, really trash girls. Those trash girls are in very, very crowded demographic cities that those type of girls are in. I think the average girl across America and probably Eastern Europe is really good good hearted in a way. Now there's still female nature that you have to overcome and you still need to be that guy. But the the girl that would pass on a guy a good man for ten grand, that's just that's just her. And I think those girls are mostly in the bigger cities. Yeah. Like Dubai. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So that makes a good point. And because a lot of these conversations that they're having, they're in these big cities. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that when you have cities like that, you have women that, you know, they go in packs and go in groups and then the women that live around there, you know, they try to live a certain lifestyle. So when you get in between these cities, like in the rural areas and things like that, or in the suburbs, I mean, I don't think you run into nearly as many of these women as, you know, they quote unquote say that you need to be, you know, protective about. Now, it, he's talking about women's nature. Women's nature, okay. Understand women want the best for themselves and want the whole hypergamy thing and things like that. But do men also not have a nature? Do men also not have a nature to want to sleep around and things like that also? And so I think it's just being, you know, careful on both sides and, and honestly taking time to pick somebody that's good for you because everyone has a certain thing that's good for them. And until you understand yourself, mm -hmm. you don't understand what you need. Now, what do you think? I, think? I agree with what you just said. That's it? Yep, that's it. You don't have an opinion? I have an opinion. It's the same as yours. <laughs> have you ever seen Coming to America? Oh. He's like, yes. what I What like food what do you like? like? I like whatever, whatever food you, you like. like. Bark like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hop on one foot and bark like a dog. <laughs> when I look at a lot of the pure, pure red pill content, I don't really see any hope there. It, even if they don't re mean it to be, a lot of it is so negative. It's framed from mm -hmm. such a negative perspective. Exactly. And it's very hard to sit down in front of a woman with a negative mindset and impress her, no matter how amazing you are. Personally, I mean, I don't watch much, if any of it, and I the things I do see, the occasional bits here and there, I just don't think it's gonna help anybody. I, there's a reason a lot of these game guys don't have long, successful relationships. It's because they know enough to talk a girl into sex, but they don't have enough to retain her. Mm -hmm. So it can't be the only thing you focus on. You gotta focus on a bunch of other things, and, and it's gotta be a small part of your repertoire, just like everything else, right? When they actually get down, sit down and speak, it sounds like him and his brother have actually had experience with real women not bimbos, actually real women. And the thing is, is that a lot of times guys be like, well, you know, you got to be this way around women. You got to be this way. Listen, you got to, you got to find yourself. You got to find who you are and be comfortable with who you are. And then you can be comfortable around, you know, other people, i.e. women. The thing is, is that a lot of these guys, which it seems like in these red pill uh, spaces are are upset with women because they haven't had experience with women or they haven't had the type of women that they want. or to me, to be honest with you, they think they want a certain type of women, woman until they get a certain type of woman and that woman runs them through the mud. Then they become more bitter. But let's just say that you, you look up and you catch one of those women and they're used to or they're expecting a certain type of lifestyle or expecting the glitz and glamour and things like that. Do you not think that she's going to run you through the mud? I mean, so you're talking about not being able to get with these type of women. 
But then if you happen to catch this type of woman, are you prepared on the trip she's about to take you on? It's almost like going out fishing with a lake fishing rod in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And you happen to hook something and you're like, oh shit. They're giving advice on how to get women, but honestly, like, they, it's all negative talk about women. I feel like, at least what I listen to. The stuff that is talked about online is not stuff that gets you, you know, partners in real life. It may get you in the bedroom for a night or two, but it's not going to string across a long-term relationship. relationship. Yeah. You know, and, and so there's different skills. There's a skill to hook them, then there's a skill to keep them. And a lot of these red pill people don't know how to keep them. And the bad thing about this red pill thing is, is that the people that are quote unquote supposed to be leading it, which are, you know, the red pill godfather, Rolo Tomasi, Donovan Sharp, yada, yada. All these people have wives. Like Donovan may not be married to his, you know, whatever she is, girlfriend or whatnot, but he's been with her for over six years. And so they'll get online and they'll tell you what to do, but they're doing the complete opposite. And how does that make sense? I mean, I, I'm just making it make sense to me. It's like, don't do what I do, do what I say. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you to live a life in your 20s that I didn't even live, that they didn't even live themselves. Right. A lot of the guys who are out there screaming at the fact that good women don't exist, as I said, they don't exist for them. And if they don't exist for you, become the guy they exist for. Keep climbing that ladder and you'll find one. I absolutely promise you. Being nice isn't simping. To me, I have a very unique description of what simping is. I think it's an unfair exchange of value. Giving a woman a bunch of free money, giving a woman a bunch of Instagram likes, giving a woman a bunch of Instagram comments. If you were just some guy waiting at the <laughs> entrance to a restaurant for any woman to walk past and holding the door open in the hope of getting some phone number or something, that that really is simping. Yeah. But uh, no, it, it's an exchange of value and being a gentleman is, is, is very, very important. So this simping word, it, it gets thrown around in these men's spaces quite a bit. So any man that, you know, has a good relationship or seems to have a good relationship with a woman, they want to say that they're sipping. It's the her. same as like <laughs> being whipped. Just saying, I'm not up on this lingo because I live in the real world. So uh, I don't live on the internet. But from from what I understand, simp is you're bending to a woman's will versus the woman bending to your will. The guys that are spouting this stuff, like I said, you have the older guys that are in relationships, been in relationships for years, have kids that are spouting this stuff. Then you have the young guys and some of the young women, i.e. Pearly, that don't have and not in a relationship, but they're telling you how to be in a relationship. And if this is just for entertainment, like, you know, Jerry Springer back in the day, if this is just for entertainment, and we all know that this is just, you know, ha ha, fun and games, you know, we bring people on, they bring people on the talk shows, they kick them out, you know what I'm saying? And, and then you, Mari, Mari, you know how they used to do Jerry, Mari. My, you know, listen, if, Wait, if that, that would be Jerry, not Maury. No, Myron. Myron's the guy that oh, kicks people out. Oh, I thought out. you said Maury. She only, she, she only watches. Myron's the guy that kicks people out online. <laughs> so if, if that's what this is, then let it be what it is. But when you're saying that you're actually giving advice to Jerry, actually give advice, Jerry would try to give advice at the very end of his shows. But honestly, who took his advice seriously? Yeah, and it was never to the people on the stage because no. they were too far gone. It was to the, <laughs> to the, the people out there listening. Yeah. Even though Jerry actually has some insightful things to say, but nobody took it seriously because of the whole context of the show before. Right. Plus, I'm pretty sure he had some word scroll at the end that basically said it's purely for... Yeah, yeah. entertainment. Where on here, you actually have people try... You want people to listen to what you have to say and do what you say. And well, they're saying they're giving advice, and this is this is shitty advice, to be honest terrible with you. terrible advice. Because, like I said, everybody that's giving advice on this is not living what right. they're saying. And so... Like I said, I, I do like this part of seeing the tastes like this because you can actually see the genuineness. What I mean by genuineness, I'm not saying they're good guys, but you can tell that they've had experience in right. what they're talking about. And that's about what I'm saying. Like these other guys, they I don't think they have to necessarily be living it, but at least have lived it yeah. or have done some of the stuff that you're preaching. But they haven't done any of it and they're not living it. So they really have no business talking about it. That's what I said in my initial it's, comment, it's, it's, my yeah. generic comment. It's a new thing, and honestly, like I said, I'm learning all these terms. It's a new thing they call against the grift. And so they're basically just doing it for the money. Wow. Not sincerity, just doing it for the money. Hmm. Hey. So you got poor young 20-year-olds out there going to get snipped? For the money. <laughs> <laughs> for the for money your and expense. the views. Yeah, 